that obsession is is uh, something that I I really enjoy <laughs> um, because I I think it's honest. I think you know, you know I think people are embarrassed to admit that they have that they're obsessed about something. It's, it's it's considered to be a negative thing that you, you know you're obsessed with someone else or it's like it's it's like it's unhealthy. Um, but I also think that it's just extremely natural. And I think that we're probably all it's continuously obsessed with or obsessed about something or someone. It's not about a, a, an obsession being something that sort of takes over you. I think that you always have a choice. You always you 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 want to be carried away by something because um, if you're very unhappy, then obsession is great because it makes you feel like you're alive. I think it's probably there to uh, to indulge it and to and to show you how great obsession can be. I mean, yes, you're right. Every time there's a film about obsession, it kind of shows you how it has, in the end, it's going to have a negative impact. Um, because obviously there's a level to which um, you can be obsessed, and then if it goes beyond that, it's not a good it's not a good thing. Um, but that's more because of cinema. I think you know, in a film, there has to be like a dramatic element at the end. Uh, whereas uh, in in life, uh, you can have healthy obsessions all your life. If we associate obsession with uh, the idea of um, uh, seeing the, the, seeing someone from someone else's point of view, uh, cinema is really great because uh, the, photo the photographic element of cinema allows you to to uh, to observe. I think in general that's the great thing about cinema for obsession is it's, it allows you to be voyeuristic. Um, of course. Uh, I'm thinking of other films that are deal with the same themes. I think that um, um, Michael Haneke dealt with obsession very well in one of his films, The Piano Teacher, because he showed how how someone only mattered to themselves because they had someone else uh, in their lives. Um, and I think the, the the way to communicate that is 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 through character um, and and definitely through picture. And I think that what I loved in doing this film was that I would often place the audience in Francois's head so the, 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 the point of view that Francois was seeing would be the point of view that the audience was seeing because you need to identify with his obsession, you need to see what he sees directly uh, and, and hopefully develop your own obsession with what he's looking at. So I like going into a film where I'm with a character but I'm being, put, I'm being taken with the character but I'm, I'm always thinking like oh don't do that and oh don't do that but you, but you know they're going to but you love that tension within yourself because you want to see what's going to happen. Uh, so you know I think as a narrative device obsession is a great, uh, a great one. I love how people stand outside Martinez Hotel all day just waiting. They don't even know if there's anyone there. Which is which is brilliant. It's it's, it's just uh, it's it's a uh, it's like a, a crowd mentality. They have no understanding of why they're doing it, and I just want to like stand there and scream at everyone like you know go watch a movie. <laughs> no one's here. Um, and that's a very image of obsession. I guess. Yeah, it's 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 a uh, it's a little bit sad I think because because what are you going to get? You're going to get someone going from a, a door to their car and 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 they may wave or something and everyone will just be will feel fulfilled. They'll be like. I've, I've seen that person in real life now. It's, it's that strange and the dynamic between feeling like you know someone when you, when you watch a very famous actor and you've seen many of their films, you d actually you do develop a personal relationship with that actor. You like their work or you like this particular character they've played and, and, and it's, almost, it's almost like you feel like you're friends. And then you know, when, when you, there's that obsession about you know, trying to confirm that they are those people in reality, especially if you're in a place like Cannes where they're all here, you know, it's it's that it's that it's that it's the closest you're gonna get to to feeling like you know it's personal, but it's not. <laughs> it never will be.